San Francisco, the place where Audi is presenting the future of the automobile with a piloted driving Audi A7. Audi will prove piloted driving on a highway is safe, further establishing a leadership role in this technology. And what better place to test this technology than San Francisco in Silicon Valley? Today, the Audi A7 piloted driving concept will undertake a 500-mile drive across the West with real-world traffic and road conditions. It's a 550 miles uh, test drive over uh, over uh, two days, yeah, where we want to show uh, uh, the potential of uh, the technology of piloted driving. Here in the Silicon Valley, we have our electronic research uh, lab, uh, and together with the electronic research lab and the Volkswagen Research Group uh, and the Audi development, uh, we did this joint development uh, for that car. The piloted test drive will start in Silicon Valley and head to Bakersfield, California before ending in Las Vegas at the Consumer Electronics Show, the most important electronics show in the world. It is for us the, the next generation um, connecting to what we've shown the last two years on the CES, which was the traffic jam pilot from 0 to 35 miles an hour. Now we increase speed, so we're driving up to 70 miles an hour on the highway. We have a lot of sensors. Uh, most of them already production sensors, but some of them uh, under development, like the laser scanner and like a high-performing 3D mono camera. After a very successful drive of the RS7 piloted concept at the Hockenheim Ring in Germany in October, where the Audi rounded the track in just over two minutes without a driver, journalists from around the world now have a chance to test the technology. After a special training and accreditation course, journalists now get the chance to sit behind the wheel and experience the future of driver assistance systems. It's a wild technology. We'll see how it is after all those miles, um, if, it's, if we're bored or if it actually is still exciting, but I expect it to work well. And uh, you know, it's amazing to be one of the first people to get to do something like this. It feels kind of weird to be one of the first ones that is not an engineer or, or someone from Audi to drive that car. And, and so I'm, I'm excited, but I'm also a little frightened with what's going to happen today. I'm expecting to do something unlike anything I've ever done before, which is sit behind the steering wheel of a car and let it do all the work. And I'm unclear if that's going to be really exciting or actually just super boring. The USA is very supportive of this technology. In 2013, Audi was the first car manufacturer to receive a license to test the technology on public roads in Nevada. In 2014, Florida and California granted their permissions. Then, high noon, 11.30 a.m. The Audi A7 piloted driving concept starts rolling. All sensors, for example, the laser scanner in the back and the four core processor with eight billion operations a second work perfectly. As soon as the car is on the highway and the system is activated by the driver, the Audi A7 concept accelerates, brakes, and initiates lane changes up to 70 miles per hour all by itself. For us, it's very important that the driver stays central to the driving experience. It's not about replacing the driver, we want to support him, especially when he is in a stressful or annoying situation. For example, during a 30-mile straightaway on a highway or while in a traffic jam. So in a critical situation, the car can not only brake but also do a maneuver to avoid an accident. Those are the situations we want to support. By tonight, the car will reach Bakersfield. On Audi Media TV, you can find the latest impressions of the first day.